Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial you will learn how to carry out two-way analysis of variance using RStudio with mean comparison test and plotting bar graph for interaction effect. Two-way ANOVA can be used when you have one measurement variable and two nominal variables, and each value of one nominal variable is found in combination with each value of the other nominal variable. It tests three null hypotheses. The means of observations grouped by one factor are the same. The means of observations grouped by the other factor are the same. There is no interaction between the two factors. The interaction test tells you whether the effects of one factor depend on the other factor. When the interaction term is significant, the usual advice is that you should not test the effects of the individual factors. One experimental design that people analyze with a two-way ANOVA is repeated measures. In this design the observation has been made on the same individual more than once. This usually involves measurements taken at different time points or at different places. Repeated measures experiments are often done without replication, although they could be done with replication. Another experimental design that is analyzed by a two-way ANOVA is randomized blocks. This often occurs in agriculture, where you may want to test different treatments on small plots within larger blocks of land. Because the larger blocks may differ in some way that may affect the measurement variable, the data are analyzed with a two-way ANOVA, with the block as one of the nominal variables. Each treatment is applied to one or more plot within the larger block, and the positions of the treatments are assigned at random. Here, the example used shows the enzyme activity of mannose-6-phosphate isomerase and MPI genotypes in the amphipod crustacean. Amphipods were separated by gender to know gender also affected enzyme activity. First you need to import data to our studio. Write head with file name to see the data frame. The head function does tell you that the data looked as if they came in right. The summary function will indicate whether the data is being viewed as numeric or integer or something else. The str or structure function will tell us the format for each column in the data frame. It gives information about rows and columns. It also gives information whether the variables are being read as integer, factor, or number. In some cases, we may have a variable coded as an character or integer that we would like R to recognize as a factor variable. For this purpose as dot .factor function is used. In our data file the genotype and gender are being read as character in R. To change it to factor type file name, dollar sign, and then first factor or genotype is assigned as the function of as dot .factor and within parenthesis write file name and genotype combined with dollar sign. Similarly, assign factor B or gender by replacing genotype with gender in previous command. Now use structure function to see both variables are being shown as factor in our console. If you want to see the main effects without interaction then command will be ANOVA1 is assigned as AOV function where activity is separated by gender and genotype and data equals file name. For summary of analysis of variance write summary function for ANOVA1. Here the results are non-significant for genotype, gender, and interaction term. So there is no need to go for mean comparison test. If you have significant effect of treatments then for mean comparison test use 2KHSD ANOVA1. This will result in upper and lower limits for each treatment combination and with confidence interval at 5% probability level. To get information about means give model.tables command. For two-way analysis including interaction, Write ANOVA2 assigned as analysis of variance for activity separated by gender, genotype, and interaction term while data should be read from X2 way that is file name. Here the results are non-significant for genotype, gender, and interaction term. So there is no need to go for mean comparison test. If you have significant effect of treatments then for mean comparison test use 2KHSD command as used earlier. To get information of means give model.tables command. To plot bar graph for interaction term you need to first copy interaction means. Write input is equal to and paste the interaction means within parenthesis. Now write means is equal to the function of as dot matrix, read dot table and text connection while in parenthesis type input. For header type true and row names equal to first row. Type means to get interaction means. 
Now you can plot a bar graph by typing bar plot for means, beside condition is true for bars, legend also true. Give y axis limit as for activity its range is from 0 to 5. Also give titles for x axis and y axis labels. This will construct a bar graph for interaction term. To get the information regarding standard deviation and standard error give summary se command then write file name, measure variable that is dependent variable and group variable or factor or treatment variable. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you have any question feel free to comment in comment box. If you like this video hit a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos. Thank <laughs> you.